Tip-tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTop, very quick Adobe Media Encoder tutorial for you today. Did you know that you can stitch clips together just inside of Adobe Media Encoder? You have to have one of the later versions, I think it's 2017 onwards, um, and you can do it directly inside, no reason to open up Premiere, um, After Effects, anything like that. And I'm going to show you how. If you go to File, Add Source, you can choose the sources that you want to stitch together. For example, I have three clips of the Funfair here, all the same size, all the same resolution, that sort of thing. And you'll notice instead of hitting open, you have a very small and easy to miss option here called it Stitch Clips Together. If you hit open there, it's going to add all of those items as one inside your media encoder queue, and it will show you the order in which it's going to stitch them. You can, of course, change this around if you wanted to just by clicking and dragging. From there, you can choose any of the normal uh, export settings that you'd like and just hit render. Okay, so it's finished encoding now, and as you can see, we just have our funfair stitch clips together, all of our files put together in one clip. Nice and easy. If all of your uh, footage is the same resolution, then it is literally as simple as that. However, if you have footage that is a different resolution, um, it becomes, there's just one thing you have to think about. For example, this champagne footage that I have here is 4K, 3840 by 2160, whereas my funfair footage is 1280 by 720. Okay, they're also different frame rates. So if I were to input those next to each other with add source, choosing champagne and just funfair one for now, stitch clips, hit open. It's gonna choose by default the uh, encoder settings for the first video within that selection. So if I go to show two sources, this is gonna be champagne. If I choose match source high bit rate, it's gonna be 4K 30 FPS, the settings of the first video. If I scrub through that then, you'll notice the second half looks rubbish because it's been scaled up. Okay, so it might be worth for this particular one, maybe dropping it to 1920 and meeting somewhere in the middle, okay? That's pretty much it though, exactly the same settings. It's also going to take the frame rate from the first one. So you can do it, you can still stitch them together, you just have to choose which way around you want it to go. But that's pretty much it, just a fun little tip that I thought you guys might find useful. If you did, great. If you didn't, if you already knew it, that's fine also. Thanks very much for watching everybody, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time on Tip Tut. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.